Yes, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to the pedal electric trike build. This is the scrapped frame of the trike which we salvaged. Oh, by the way, I'm, we're having to do, I'm having to do a narration on this video. Uh, I didn't actually record it with any sound, like my old videos used to be where I put music over. Now we're going to do a little bit more talking, so in future videos I will be talking as I'm filming but I'm having to narrate this one okay anyway as you can see the trike was in terrible condition basically the whole frame was just being rusted and dented and bent so we've replaced quite a lot I've got a donor bike uh, which is a small BMX style bike which you'll see in a moment uh, but there it is as it was when I got it right we've managed to get the wheels made up uh, I've put different tyres on some bigger chunky tyres 2.3 or 3 3 inch I think now I've WD'd and I've also greased every part that I can that's the drum brake with the cogs the derailleur was no good so that had to go I'm not going to put a derailleur on but I've I have replaced the front pedals there and the sprocket from another bike as the other one was absolutely twisted and bent there it is there you can see couldn't really do much with it it needed welding so I didn't bother and there's the donor bike there which is was just a BMX style bike that we had what I'm going to do is take the front forks off that grey bike and we put them on this one see how the forks are bent obviously it's turned round but it's just to show you how they were bent at the back so that's all going to go that's a 24 inch wheel so that's going to be replaced with a 20 inch wheel and suspension forks so there it is up to now looking a bit better Now we've took off the front forks and the wheel, also the stem, and we've put them on the trike as it is. I've just turned it round just to show you there the back of them. It was a bit of a pain. I cut a few little nicks out my finger. They're always a pain, stems. You really need to be quite brutal with getting some of them off, especially if they're rusted. Uh, WD, let, let it soak in use the right spanners you know just keep going so that's that bit done which looks a lot better I've chopped out this bit because them two bars just behind my hand there are going to fall down I'm going to bend them down there's going to be no seat post on this trike it's going to be like a flat bed because you're going to see what I'm going to do there we go there's the table there's an old table there we're going to actually use the table as a frame frame for the trike because it's going to have a body and a roof on it done something similar with the solar trike but this is going to be a little bit better it's almost going to be fully enclosed almost I bent that down there as you can see just tack welded it a little bit screwed it on tack welded that at the front I'm not a big welder and I like to do my projects so that other people can have a go as well and a lot of people don't have welders so therefore I don't do a lot of welding I have more of a tendency if I'm joining bits of metal just to drill screw or bolt but it sits nice there just on that frame these legs are going to have to cut down obviously for the front bit so what I'm going to do is just zip through them with a grinder or score them and then bend them off there's another piece of metal there that I've just managed to do on the front I'll use any bits of metal I get or wood anything that comes to hand I tend not to buy anything it's all scrap things that we find in skips stuff like that down the scrap yards things laying laying about we'll use them like I say it doesn't need to be perfect or level or anything the frames already twisted so it's it's never going to be a, a spot-on bike this But we're just going to do some 
I think hopefully quite special with it so yeah I've drilled through and I've attached that them supports on the front this white bit at the front there you can see just joined onto some wood there that's going to hold some polycarbonate sheets which are going to be the front frame the only thing I will buy will be a couple of things I will have to buy is possibly some pair specs for a roof like a windshield but we'll look at that later there we go I'm just just bending that off now sometimes it's easier just to score metal and then just bend it off rather than sit there with a grinder for an hour trying to cut it all we've chamfered it at an angle obviously because we are hopefully going to be getting some roof bars we find some metal just to twist won't be able to do it with solid metal so we're looking at something like this here to soft aluminium metal but what I'm going to do is hacksaw it's inch and a half to two inch sections nearly through um, and this will allow me to bend and twist because I want a slight curve on the roof I don't want it to be flat as you can see there we've just cut through it a bit and you can mould it you can bend it into shape when you do that it's never going to be as stable as solid tubular steel of course but I've went on the inside it's obviously I'm looking back at this so there's the first section of the uh, the roof there that's going to be the end of this video for now thanks for watching part one